Hello everybody, this is Josh and Jessica, and this is just the beginning of a very large comic book collection we've got for sale. Um, we'll, we also, we will be selling lots of other collections, including even lots of number one issues. Um, to tell you just a little bit about the collection, uh, we've been collecting for a very long time. I've actually been collecting since 1984. Uh, it's over 30,000 comic book collection that we're eventually going to be selling. Okay, and starting off with this collection of Classics Illustrated, uh, I'm going to go through each one of them and let you all see them. Uh, and if there's any that you all want to see individually, like out of the plastic and back and board, just let me know. Uh, we're willing to sell them by singles, or if somebody's interested in the whole collection, we're open to offers. So, you know, feel free to, to, to do that. And I will be giving you my email address. So if you want more pictures on singles or... You know, just want more information or want to see them out as the plastics and pictures of the inside or anything like that. Feel yeah, free to, yeah, to email me. Let us know. There's a lot of great comics here. I mean, there's a lot of them in great condition. Yeah, I mean, they're old. Every This whole collection, all of them are from the 1940s and 1950s. So condition, Nothing beyond that. Right. Condition does vary. We have um, paid big bucks for some of these. And guys, be lenient. This is our first video. Um, we will be making more videos we have got thousands upon thousands of comics that we're going to be making videos of. Um, this, like I said, this is our first. We will have um, videos of all number ones, annuals. Uh, we have cherry picked for years, so we have a collection <laughs> that people will die for. Just, just keep, keep watching and you all will be very surprised yeah please um, subscribe and you can see all the other videos and they, see all of our great stuff these right here i mean i don't we haven't had time to go through and look up uh, the value of you know all these like i said we just collected um i know some of these probably were five ten bucks a piece but i know there's some of them worth a hundred dollars or better i mean there's a lot of great comic series y'all are gonna see yeah guys um, we are gonna go through them one by one so you can see what's here there's a what a hundred there's a, there's 105. 105 comics here. There's 105. We do prefer to use PayPal because that's the safest way for for everyone. Um, and also, if if you buy you know several at one time, you know, or in bulk or whatever, we do got lots of bonus comic books that we're nice just bonus in. comic books. Um, as far as shipping and handling on any of these, don't worry about that. We will take care of that. Uh, and here's the email address we're going to show yeah. this. Guys, write this down. Right there, J L A N E O seven one three at gmail dot com. All right, let's, let's get, get started. started. Let's see. Let's get it here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, okay. there's the Count of Monte Crisco, issue number three. I'll try to go through these fairly quick, y'all. Like I said, there's one hundred five of them. Uh, issue number five, Moby Dick. Number six, Tale of Two Cities. There we go. Okay, next is number seven, which is Robin Hood. We have doubles, but they are not the same. If you look right here, see how dark that is? See how light that is? That has a 15 cent. This has nothing. So, so they are different. So even, even what doubles we do have, most of them, they are still different. Right. You know, some of them have 10 cent cover price, some have 15 cent. Like I said, they're everyone from the 1940s and 1950s. We will point out the differences, but if you have more questions, please feel free. To Arabian Nights, to yes, y'all. Email me. This one is a little rough. Got a piece from me. Yes, off the it's bottom. Arabian Nights, number eight. Number 10. Oh, yes. Cushion. I mean, look, I mean, that 15 one's cent. That one's in really good shape. But yes, I'm going to take one of these out of plastic. Can you, can you feel this while I take one of these out of plastic? Yes, guys. We, um,. This is Rip Van Winkle mm -hmm. and the Headless Horseman, 15 yeah. cent, okay. number 12. But take it out and show them the inside of this. Some of them are, a lot of our books of are, are little, like this. Some of them look but really some good, of them, some of them look really yes. um, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's in wonderful shape. Yeah, it's a good looking book. Let's show it the, let me show the inside. The oh, white yes. pages are still very white. It smells so good. <laughs> I like it. I smell comic book Mm, let's see. Here's the date on this one. You can get it. March think, 1944. Hold it like a little bit. I don't know, if, guys, if I can get this. Mm. Yeah, 
1944. Okay. Uh, I was just hanging with this. Like I said, this is our very first video. Just please watch until the end because we do have great, great comics. There's issue 15 of Tom's Cabin. 15, yes. Oh, there's I like that. Gulliver's Travels. Number 16. I'm going to come back a little bit. The Deer Slayer, number 17. Yes. We tried to get the whole yeah. lot, the whole run. We didn't have luck. We, like I said, we paid up there for some of them. Yeah, buddy. Fifteen cents, eighteen. Okay, look. Here's okay. Huckleberry Finn. There's two of them. Yes, guys. And here's the difference you can see between these is the product. The fifteen cent one's black one. Okay, hold yellow that. Surfing. Hold that kind of so we can see. Right, here, let me open that one up for a minute. No, just go like this. See the fifteen cent right there. Yeah, here's the other one. And then the other one has got it in yellow. So I really don't know, like, like. Wait, how you look wait, at wait, wait! Look, things. tell them the, about the name here. Okay, y'all see this right here? It says Samuel L. Clemmings. Yeah, of course his pen name. not there. It says by Mark Twain. If you don't know, Mark Twain is his pen name, but Samuel L. Clemmings is his real name, so it's the same person. <laughs> I don't know why they don't like that, but it's still pretty neat. Looked inside this one. Makes it different. Yeah, how this one set. Oh, yeah. So, guys, how white the pages are in some of these. I mean, a lot of these are really nice. This one's from World War II, 1945. You can mm -hmm. see that okay. So, I want, them, I want them to be able to see, I want them to see the condition of all these because for the age, I mean, some of these books are, I mean, they're beautiful. But, I mean, if they want to see them, we can send them individual, individual pictures. Or, or, any, or any they want to see. Yes. Any questions you may have, feel free to contact me. I would give you my cell phone to text it, but I don't think that's a safe thing to do. A Corsican Brothers issue number 20. Yes, let me turn it back up like this. Okay, this one, it's a little rough, but it's still... But look, it's three books in it. Three famous Issue number 21. Sherlock Holmes, The Murder in the Rue Morgue, The Flayed Hand. So it's got three stories in it. That one is kind got of rough. two of Path, Pathfinder. Okay. And... This right here, this sticker says 15 cents. That did not come on the comic. Somebody put that on there. So it is the same book, but One's somebody put sticker. that on there. Okay. Next is Oliver Twist. You get both of them. One of them's got a 15 cent price on it. The other one doesn't. Right. One's darker than the Again, other. Again, y'all, I apologize. I've not done the research in these to... To really figure out, you know, what the little, why there's such little differences between them. Um, but I mean, if you want us to, um, just feel free to ask us, and we'll do the research. There's Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court. Yeah. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Oh, this is nice, though. Let me take this one out. Okay, guys. He's going to take another one out. I want to get, let him oh see wow! A, a difference. That is pristine. Look at those pages. Oh, yeah, that smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from 1946. Let me see. Let's there. see. I don't know, guys. Yeah, you can kind of make. And that you see, way. look how white the pages still are. Like I said, yes. These, uh, the majority of these, you you will tell they were they were they were took. Very good care of. I was looking on the internet the other day and I seen a quote. It says, my book smells better than your tablet. I just thought I'd share that. <laughs> I loved it. Because we love the smell of old books and comics. Okay, next. There we go. Prince and the Pauper. Yeah, 29. Mysterious Island. Oh, yes. 15 that, cents. That's by Jules Verne. I mean, that's a, that's a good one. Jules Verne? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I'll say it. Tippy, tippy. Hmm. You're holding them a little bit close, honey. I'm here. What's that red dot? Is that on, really on the comic? It does, yeah. It, and I guess, uh, I guess some of them would have had the price on that, but if it was like a direct edition, somebody got got them through the mail, right? Then it, then it wouldn't right. have the price on. It. 
That's so they got a subscription. That's likely. Twenty years after. Oh wow. That's about the three musketeers. That is in pretty good shape. Yeah, that's a nice one. Pages are good in that one too. Let's see here. I got two of Swiss Family Robinson. One of them's got a the fifteen cent yes. mark in it. Another one's that? blank. Let me see if it'll so right, let me that, open this one up real quick. So that probably means that one was in the store and one was a subscriber, I would oh, think. Subscriber. I want them to get a, a good look at, at mm -hmm. how how they how these comic books look, you know. Yes, look at I that. I mean not guys. all of them but have, you know, beautiful white pages. Uh but And we're not showing all the ones that have it. But this one, I mean, this is 1947. Just like some I said, catches our eye, you know. Most, uh, they're all from the 1940s and 1950s. Uh, we got some of them from one collection off of a off of a man, uh, and then a lot of them just had bought here and there as we as we come across them. Which is old classic illustrated. I mean, they're getting they're getting really hard to, to well really to find. Yeah, it's any, really hard to find. But every time we seen one, we would buy it, whether we had it or not. Because okay, here of that is two great expectation. Both of these, I mean, look in really, really good condition. Yes, a very good shape. So there's two of Mysteries in Paris. Again, there's like a, a direct edition and then uh, right, a new, sorry, a new stand, coffee. new stand edition and then direct edition. That's right. Uh, two of Tom Brown's oh. School Days. Okay. I think these these one that does have the the price sticker. I'm pretty sure that that they the did. The store put them there. They, they they put it on there. I'm sure that's how they come when they when they were first bought. Right. Guys, here's a here's a nice one. Now one of them does have a piece of tape on the front, but you're, it you're is you know. Them. Hold them down, son. Alice in Wonderland. Wait, I did hold them back out. I didn't get them all. There we go. See how dark and beautiful that one is. Ten cent. It's an old one. From yes. the 40s. Okay, let me move this stack and let's go on to the next. Guys, just bear with us. There's two more stacks. Okay. Next, of course, Tom Sawyer. Oh, yes. Who doesn't know about Tom Sawyer? By Samuel Clemens. Yes. Mark Twain. Got two of the spy. Okay, whenever you got two, I've got to turn it this way, so just let me know. Okay. And y'all can see the difference here. It's like, it's like a first edition and second edition. So a 10 cent price sticker. Well, it ain't a sticker, but 10 cent price and a 15 cent. So first and second edition is what that is. But like I said, if y'all, if there's any of these y'all want to see out of plastic, just let me know and, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever I can. Oh, yeah. There's a good one, a Christmas Carol, and it's a 10 cent one. Everybody knows about the Christmas Carol. Wonderful, wonderful. Story. Actually, we actually did have two of this one, but my mother has been a, a fan of Christmas Carol. She has every different movie that's ever come out, so I had to let her have one of them. It belonged to her. I mean, nice. it's called her name. So, oh, so that's, that's number 10. 10 cent. No, that's a 10 cent number 55. Yeah. I looked at it wrong. The Toilers of the Sea. It's a 10 cent okay. one. 50, like I said, 56. all these from the 1940s, some of them early 40s and uh, 1950s. I like that cover, by okay, the way. Two, there's two of this one, but it, it's... Yes, it's totally different, okay. guys. There's the, the, like the first edition, 10 cent, this one, 15 cent. One. See? The Song of Hiawatha. 10 cent, 15, 15 cent. cent. yep. I like both covers on them. I actually like both I covers. love the painted cover. Let me know. Okay, that's two. Okay. Weathering Heights. You can say 10 cent. 15, 15 cent. cent. So look how nice that is. Let me open this one up real quick. I just want them to be able to see a few of them. You know, what the books actually look like outside the plastic. Okay, you can get that okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, look how... how why, you I, can tell these were stored very well. Yes, um... I mean, we're not showing you all the ones that look like this. There's actually a lot that look like, like this. This one, as you can see, 1949. Let me see if I can get it. No. Okay, that's, that's okay. I can't get it, guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, flash your picture of us. Huh. Okay, next. There we go. Black, Black Beauty. Got two of course. Of Both of those are teen cent ones. Yes, one looks better than the other, but, I mean, turn this up, right? Woman in white. Both ten cent ones. Got two of it. See, whenever you're doing that, I'm not getting the hook on it. You need to hold it a little closer. No, you're holding it too close. Okay. Yeah, see? Western ten stories. cents, number 62. Western stories. And we do have a Western lot that we're um, be going, going to be listing, yeah. and it's got some of these classic illustrated in it. Two of that one. A 10 cent one and a 15 cent one. That's like nice. I said, most of these doubles, there is a little difference between them. Uh, here's number 66. See, again, 15 cent, 10 cent. Hold on, I ain't getting that. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. This, Sorry, I'm moving around a lot, this guys. This is a good one. This is a very good show. Oh, yes. Julius Caesar. 15. Cent 60. Number 68. Is that 68? Yeah. Okay. Look how good it looks, guys. Oh, I love that smell. Uh, okay, here's one from the 50s. You can see right there, February 1950. Let me see. I don't think I can get it, though. Whoa, maybe I can. If I can get down. Well, guys, <laughs> you, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Guys, we apologize for, you know, this, but this isn't, like I said, our first video. Very nervous. Okay. So nervous there ain't going to be nothing left of this chewing gum. I'm chewing the heck out of it. <laughs> okay, here's number 69. Around oh, the world yes. in 80 days. 15 cent one. Okay, again, okay. here's here's two of the pilot. One, 10 cent, 15 one 10 cent. cent. One 15 cent. I mean, you can say, look how good the gloss though looks on these books. Well, yeah. I'm not I'm not a professional grader. I grade better than I you. Will, I, will, I will try to, to do the best I can, guys. Man, it lasts 10 cent. Oh, yes. The black two of 10 cent. Huh? Like I said, most of these are from the 40s and, you know, in the 50s. Two of this one are 79. One's a 10 cent, one's a 15 cent. Can you yeah. see those are going? Yeah, number 79. 80, course, White Fang. Which was a, which was a, a this right here is what started it all, guys. <laughs> that one's it. Or gals. I'm sorry. Leave out the girls. Number 82. Mm -hmm. Got to the Jungle Book. Okay, let me turn it like this. Oh, wait a minute. Go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, love, I just love his old paint covers on. I do, too. The Gold Bug. Number 84. <laughs> Gold Bug. Okay, got two of this one. A Midsummer's Night's Dream. Is there any difference about them? No, I think these two. I think these two are the same. Yeah, that one's the best looking one. Like I said, guys, if we seen it, we bought it. Didn't matter what uh, number, because we tried it's to. We were to get. we were trying to make eventually make get an entire collection of them. Oh uh, yeah, fifteen cent kind of harassment. There's like there's like I think over like one hundred fifty of them or something. Mhm. Mm okay. There's number ninety. Green mansions. Longfellow's Miles Standish, number 92. 15 cents still. Uh, Puddinhead Wilson, got two of it. <laughs> Puddinhead. This one will start calling you Puddinhead. Puddinhead. <laughs> here's, a, here's one, guys, that I I had oh, to have yes. when I seen it. All quiet on the western front. I thought you about that for you. Yeah, I'm selling it now, probably. Uh, World War One story. Another good one, King Solomon's Mines. Oh, yes. It's a very, very good movie. I love that movie. Okay, going to the last stack, and it's a small stack. Bear with us, guys. Almost and gals. All right, number 101, William, William Tell. Tell. Yes. 
next. 103. Man against the sea. sea. 104. Bring them back alive, guys. Look how beautiful that tiger is. <laughs> I know. I love his little pink coat. I That's do too. Got me about these it, it makes you feel more, I don't know. Makes the picture stand out better, I think. It, it gives me this more feeling. Real, more realistic. Yeah, like I'm really there. From the earth to the moon, Jules Verne. 107. King yeah. of the Kyber Rifles. Uh, 109. Yeah, that one's got a pretty decent bend at the center of it. Yeah. But again, from the 40s and 50s, I mean. It, well, I mean, obviously it got red a lot. So, okay, it has I mean, then to look, at this, look at this. Look at the how good this one looks. Oh, yes. Like look said, how perfect, guys. Perfect. It's got a little bit of wear down the side, but again, for its age. I mean, it would take off beautiful. maybe a point. Uh, I got two of the Red Rover. Return it. This one's a better looking one here. I'll show put it on the front. But there's two of them. Yes. Next, one of one sixteen, the bottle went. Mm-hmm. Uh, Captain Courageous. Got two yes. of it. And these doubles, I mean, there might be something different about them on the inside or something. We just ain't, we don't, we ain't done the research yet. To, I mean, there's so many little differences, you know, about all these classics illustrated. I'm just hoping that some of you watching this know a little bit more about them and maybe can even give us some information. The Oxbow incident. Oh, yeah. And if you want us to research something, we definitely will. Just ask. We'll do whatever, whatever can we to help. But like I said, these are all up for sale. Wild Bill Hickok. Yes. Kind of need money to pay Santa Claus. <laughs> That's right. Two of Fang and Claw. I get that. I love those beautiful, I love those mm. wildlife pictures like that. I do too. That's the wow. books I always got. I would like to have a pet like that, but tame. The downfall. Hmm. Next one is two of it. This one right here, as you can see, is very good shape. That one's got a little wear to it. Here, let me get it like but that. Still, I'm sure this one's from late yeah. 1940s, 1950s. Next one, here's a good one. Davy Crockett. Oh, uh, yes. Who doesn't know who Davy Crockett is? Almost to the end, guys. The Dark Frigate, issue 132. Here's a good one. H.G. Wells, The Time Machine. And the next one the has to one. be my favorite, of course, Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Lucky that one's getting sold. Uh, guys, to give you an idea, the collection is, like I said, it's, a, it's 105 books. Yeah. Yes, guys, look at that. Like I said, we will sell them individually in lots or the entire collection. So feel free to ask any questions, uh, leave any comments, and hopefully I can do some, we can do some business together. And like I said, you know, keep watching us because we are going to have more videos. There's a lot more comic books that um, we are going to get. You know, Please get subscribe, to. guys. You will love what you see in the videos. And even if you're not interested in buying any, you know, I, we would love just to get to share our collection with, with everyone. Uh, I'm sure everybody, you know, is proud of their comic book collection, and we'd like to share ours with you all. Uh, I hope I hope the video was okay. Um, feel free to leave any comments or questions, and thanks for looking. Thank you, guys. Bye.